Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the free assets for this monthly month of November. Basically, if you guys already know, Epic Games gives away free asset packs every single month. Now with the release of Fab, they're actually doing a new asset giveaway system. So basically how it works is previously they would give away five free asset packs for the month, but now what they're doing on Fab is they split it into two halves. So every month they're going to give away six, a total of six free assets. However, now that Fab is a unified marketplace meaning that you can have asset packs for any 3d software so you can have it for unreal engine unity blender or uefn depending on the asset type whichever platform it supports you'll be able to use the asset for that particular platform so now the way they set up the new free asset giveaway is they've split it up into halves so basically the first two weeks of the month they're giving away three different asset packs and the last two weeks of the month they're going to give away three different asset packs so it's a total of six, and like I said, they can be random different asset packs that are supported for Unreal Engine, or they could be asset packs that are only supported for UEFN. It really can just be totally random. This month, they already gave three new marketplace assets that I actually didn't get around to making a video reviewing them. But for the second half of the month, they're going to be giving away these three asset packs that you see here on the screen, which I'll be going over in this video. And so these are free to claim right now till the end of the month. So you have less than two weeks to essentially claim these for free. And if you guys are trying to learn game development in Unreal Engine, I have a full multiplayer survival game course on my website, smartpoly.teachable.com, which will show you how to make a Steam multiplayer survival game from scratch, from start to finish. So we'll create things like an inventory system, crafting system, harvesting and gathering system, a tribes or clan system, building system, and we'll even create this open world map that you see here with different AI that will spawn procedurally and much more. This course is is packed with tons of content and if you purchase it right now you can get it actually bundled with my remastered course so basically i'm remastering the course and adding lots of new features like controller input support and much more so you can get both of those courses bundled for the price of one so you don't want to miss out on this limited time promotion check out the link in the description below or head over to my website smartpoly.teachable.com if you want to learn more about what it takes to create games inside of Unreal Engine 5. This course will get you started on your game development journey inside of Unreal Engine so make sure you check it out link in the description below and let's get right back to the video. So the first asset pack here is this dragon temple so basically this is a map that features is really nice sort of fantasy uh, building theme. You could use this for, I don't know, some sort of fantasy game. But as you can see, there's a lot of detail in all the meshes that you see here. So in the ceiling especially, and you have this stained glass over here with these nice colors. But this map is pretty large in size. So you can see that it comes with the different levels. So you start down here on this different platform and you have all these different staircases that go underneath the map itself. And it sort of leaves to this center chamber that has these different torches lit on fire. And then over here in the center is this massive like monument or throne. So we can actually check out the throne seat over there. And look at the light shafts over on the windows. That actually looks really nice. But over here is the dragon. So you have the two dragon statue over here and their eyes are glowing red for some reason. But yeah, that looks like it's been encased in gold or something like that. Very high detailed, all of the models, especially these different, you know, architecture pieces with the holes in it. Everything in here is nanite quality. So I'll show you guys the nanite visualization here in a second. But yeah, there's a ton of detail just in the ceiling. So all these columns and pillars that you know, stretch up to the top this part and I really love the lighting that's coming in from you know the top over here this top window that's shining over on the statue really lights up and brings out all the detail and so we can actually play in the level as well if you want to check it out and see what it looks like to play as a character you can see how reflective the material on the floor is too but as you can see everything is to scale so we have our character on the throne here and we can sort of run to this little dungeon area so again you could use this for some sort of fantasy game but as you can see the building just gets you know deeper and deeper but yeah that is the map i can zoom out and show you guys what it's made of these modular pieces and if i actually open up the level this is like all the demo assets so you can see these are the huge pieces and 
Again, it's really high detail, so I can zoom up and we can look down here at the floor. And you can see all the reflections in the floor material there. But just look at the different statues and the carvings. Extremely detailed meshes here, and they're all nanite quality. And check this out, you can make sort of this hallway, and it really looks good with the lumen lighting. And let's go fly over here real quick. Again, very detailed building pieces. So all the window meshes right there. And take a look at this. So you can make a hallway and just look at the reflections on the floor. And the lighting is just amazing. And I almost forgot to show you guys the triangle view. So this is that level again that I showed you earlier. Uh, basically, this is all the nanite geometry. You can see just how detailed some of these uh, sculptures are. So everything is super detailed. And again, this is just a really good example of why you'd want to use nanite on these meshes, just how detailed it is. And when you zoom in and out, there's no LOD popping because we're using nanite. Now the next free asset pack is this ancient constructions and platforms. Basically this is sort of like a ancient ruins pack. Now these models aren't you know, super high quality, super high detailed. Uh, I think they mainly can use these for games. You could use these for films and other things. Uh, they're just not super you know, nanite quality, but you know, they'll do for whatever you might use them for. But yeah, you could definitely use this in a game for different props as like an ancient ruins game. And it kind of reminds me of some sort of ancient Mayan ruins or something like that. But yeah, over here is a little interior. And of course we have some more of these. I think these are like little temples or something. But they have staircases that go all the way up. And I really like the design on that. Looks pretty neat. But this is a very simple pack. There's not a whole lot of assets in here. So it's only a couple of different structures. And again, this is only free for the rest of the month. So you make sure that you go and pick these up right now. Now the last asset pack for this month is this stylized fantasy creatures pack. And this is a massive bundle of different types of creatures. So we have this sheep. And you can see they're all animated with animations and they have different texture variations. So you can see that the sheep comes in you know, different colors. We have this dinosaur. So you can see we have sort of blue, green, yellow, and purple dinosaur. And then we have the snail over here. So all of these come with animations and unfortunately there isn't a animation showcase level. Uh, so here is like a snake. So I would have showcased all the animations, but unfortunately they don't have a level that has it all dragged out in the scene. I'll show you a couple of them here in a second. But yeah, as you can see, there's the different spider. We have sort of like this tiger, which is actually pretty cool. And you could use this for, I don't know, some sort of stylized RPG game. Uh, they're all hand-painted textures, so they're very detailed. Like, I love the overall style of this asset pack, especially this creator. He makes a lot of good stylized creature and asset packs. So yeah, this is like a turtle. I don't know what happened to this shell material. Looks like it's missing on there. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But yeah, over here is this little wasp or bee. And you see like the wings are flapping, which is a really cool uh, animation there. Then we have sort of like this wolf or this dog. You could use this as like an RPG game, have different types of mobs and creatures in the game. We have a pig creature. Then we have sort of like this crab creature. Again, it's really nice that they have these different color variants. And you can see everything is like hand painted in detail. So overall, I love the style of these meshes. Okay, we have sort of like this ram or this goat, whatever you would call it. And then next up we have this bird or this eagle. Yeah, you could use this as like a mount and an RPG. So like your character would be you know, flying on top of one of these birds. And we have a crocodile, so the different variations. And all the animations that come in this pack, they have like bite animation, idle, walking, strafing left, pretty much every animation that you need. And check out this chicken. This thing is actually kind of massive if you compare it to the scale of the other creatures. And then we have a cat. So we have different variations of that. We have this boar. Pretty cool. And then we have a bear. So the different bear color variations. 
And then we have this bat, which again, I really love how they animated all the creatures in here. They're really nice and fluid animations. And it kind of reminds me of like World of Warcraft, just because of the stylization of like the, the character models, the way everything is hand painted textures, and just how smooth the animations are. And if I show you guys some of the animations, if I browse to them, so as you can see, if I open up like this bat, you can see they have different animations. We have dodge animation, hit, death, and we have fly left, fly right, idle, fly forward. So it comes with pretty much every animation that you can think of that you might need. Uh, attack animations, all that stuff and anything else you might think of. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this month, the month of November. Those are all the different free asset packs that we get. My only complaint is that the way they set up this new free asset system, I think they really should have just combined the two weeks and just made it six free assets for the entire month instead of making it three for like the first half of the month and then three different ones for the second half. Cause then you have to go to the marketplace twice to claim these assets and you might miss them. So the chances are missing them are you know much higher. And you know, they might've done that to get you to head over to fab more often, like twice a month. That way you're interacting with the website. Who knows if that's the main reason why they did this, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these free assets down in the comments down below. Are you going to be using them in your games or Unreal Engine projects? Let me know down in the comments. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.